Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. It is great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I'm out here on Lake Erie. I'm on the eastern basin of Lake Erie, folks. Uh, of course, it's summertime. It's a beautiful day. The water temperature is 71 degrees and I'm sitting here right now in 40 feet of water. And today, folks, I'm going to run the Sting Nose, the Sting Nose Jig and Spoon. And we got some chop going here right now. I'm going to call it a nice walleye chop. Although there's walleye here, there's bass, there's sheephead. Uh, so it could be any of those species on the bite today. And for me, it doesn't matter because I'm out here to enjoy a summer day and a good day of fishing. So I'm going to work the Sting Nose. I got the one ounce size on. I'm going to open up with the silver. we got some cloud cover here. I might switch to gold. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to open up with the silver one ounce. And I'm also going to tip them, folks. I brought some eye drops with me. I brought a variety of colors. And I'm going to tip it with the smoked eye drop to open up with. If the water was murkier, I would go with maybe a chartreuse or something like a brighter color, like a pink. But right now, I think I'm going to go with a subtle color. I'm going to tip it with the with the smoked eye drop. And what the eye drop does, folks, you don't have to tip your any whatever jigging spoons you're using. You could use them bare, of course. And the sting nose work fantastic just the way they are. But I like to tip them if I can uh, to add a little bit of scent. And the other thing it does, folks, not only is it an extra attractor, but for those of you who have a tough time jigging, sometimes the hook gets caught on the line. And what the eye drop does, it changes the fall of your jigging spoon and it keeps the hook away from the line. So a lot of advantages, um, but most importantly, it's a great attractor. And I'm hoping, folks, that I'm going to attract some bites today. As you can see, I'm just letting it hit bottom. When it hits bottom, I'm lifting it up. And really, I'm kind of ripping it right now, more of an aggressive approach. But I'm going to I'm going to stick with that and see if that triggers a bite. If not, I'll calm down a bit and I'll just go with more of a finesse approach like that. Just kind of ease into the bite. We'll see what they're after. Stay tuned, folks. We're hoping to have a great day. Oh, the aggressive approach, folks. It has triggered a hit. Oh my goodness. Now I have no idea what it is. He's not breaking the surface, so I don't know if it's a bass or... Well, let's see. That's the mystery, folks. You never know. The beauty of fishing. You never know what you're going to catch. Gave me a really nice bite. Looking a little silver down there right now. Fighting like a sheephead, I'm gonna say. Although, what do we got here, folks? Yeah, it's a sheephead. Okay, first fish of the day, sheephead. Nice one, too. Let's get him in here. I got a net, but we're just gonna kinda lift him in. Okay, that's a start right there. Mr. Sheephead, aggressive, aggressive jig, aggressive bite and a good fight hey okay we're gonna get him back in and I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna continue with that aggressive approach get my rag to clean my hands and see if we can get another bite that didn't take long though I'll tell you that just another solid hit folks solid I'm thinking it might be another sheephead because he just nailed it the aggressive approach is triggering bites today, folks. I'm guessing sheephead. He's not fighting like a walleye and he's awful heavy, although sometimes those bigger walleyes, folks, you know, if you got a bigger walleye, they'll give you, it's not like trolling. You get a walleye on when you're jigging, you get, you get a fight. When you're trolling, you get no fight. You just kind of reel them in, you know, but, uh, that's another reason why I love jigging. You get a, oh, a better fight. I got a lot of pressure on this fish too. My drag is relatively tight and he's still taking drag. Like big time. So I am running 20 pound Thunder Braid and I actually went with a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. A little bit heavier. You can go a little heavier with fluorocarbon because it's less visible to fish so you can get away with a size or two heavier than you normally would fish with with mono it's looking like a nice sheep head folks <laughs> looks like a bigger one than the last one i got yeah oh yeah holy folks 
Oh yeah. Sting nose eye drop combo, folks. Look at that. He just hammered it. And you see, you can see my sting nose just barely in his mouth there. He inhaled it. Okay, let's see if I can lip lock him. We're gonna try. If not, I get the net. One more attempt. Okay, we'll get the net. <laughs> I get the message. Look at the size of this sheep head, folks. Oh. Look at the size of this sheep head. I'll tell you what, these sheep head are just thriving in Lake Erie. Look at this fish. The sting nose is just, you know, it's in a nice little spot. He's not hooked badly at all. He inhaled it, but it's just in his top part of his mouth here. There we go. Nice little release. I got my eye drop. That's great. And that's oh, ha! Oh. Come on. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I don't mind. I'll catch these fish all day long. What a blast! I'll tell you what, folks. Wow. Okay, we're gonna get him back in. And away he goes. A nice release. You gotta love that. Okay, so just the bite was just great. Just readjust my, my eye drop just a bit. See, so you want your eye drop, you want that hook exposed. You see how I've got the hook gap exposed there? You want to leave some hook gap there for hook setting power. And the other thing I'm doing, I'm casting kind of to the back of the boat. And I don't mind casting. When you're running braided line, folks, and you're, you're jigging and you're in deeper water, uh, or you're just doing longer casts, the whole advantage of that braided line is no stretch. So I can cast far and still set the hook very, very effectively. Whereas if I'm casting far or fishing deep and you're using mono, you got a lot of stretch when you go to set that hook. So, oh, I gotta readjust my braid. So that's why braid gets the nod. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm jigging really high. I think my hook might have fouled or I might have got a goby. But by jigging really high, you're covering more more ground. And what do I got here? Yeah, my hook just caught up there a bit. There we go. Let's just do that again. Yeah, I like to jig up relatively high. So when your jig hits the bottom, if you jig it up really high, you're working, let's say, five to eight feet off the bottom as opposed to just jigging it right off the bottom. And a lot of times that, not only are you covering more ground with that uh, aggressive approach, but you're also triggering more hits. They see that fall, or they'll see it from further away, and they'll come over and, and attack the, just attack the lure. So again, the strategy so far is paying off for me, and they're liking this aggressive approach. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Gave some guys in the boat a wave after setting the hook, folks. I'll tell you what we did. I was getting mainly sheephead, so we decided to make a little move. So I changed spots, and the other thing I went and did was I went and put a chartreuse eye drop on. So a couple of things to see if they could change my luck. I mean, mind you, not that I wasn't having luck. I love catching sheephead, but I'm hoping to get into a bass or a walleye and you know what, folks? I think my strategy has paid off. I see, I see something that looks like Mr. Walling to me, folks. That's what I see. There's my chartreuse eye drop, and oh, oh, oh and there he goes. Oh, <laughs> I just, I just couldn't reach for him. Look at that. <laughs> I just couldn't reach for him. But that's what I did. I just put on a chartreuse eye drop change the spots, change the strategy a little bit, and it changed my luck. <laughs> oh, that was a nice walleye. Hopefully you got a chance to take a look at him, folks. I got a great look at him. He was kind of big. I was going to release him anyway. That's a good catch and release right there. But see how the hook flung back too, eh? And got me in the shirt. I take my glasses off for filming, but it's always good to keep your glasses on for that reason. You never know if a hook ever comes back at you, right? So anyways, 
So the strategy, a little change of strategy, folks, because I was getting sheep head after sheep head. So I thought, okay, let's move from the sheep head zone, try somewhere different. I'm in 41 feet of water, so I'm still in relatively the same depth, just a different area. And then with the chartreuse eye drop, a little bit of a different approach. So I'm going to keep fishing. It's a gorgeous day out here today, folks. So I'm going to keep working this water and see if I can get into another fish. But you know what, folks? Sometimes you just need to change things a little bit. Change your strategy, change your luck. Wherever you're tuning in from, folks, if you haven't been out lately, by all means, get out there, get a line wet, and have some fun. That's what I'm doing today. I'm enjoying the great day, great fishing, and a good time. Until next time, good luck and good fishing. That was a nice walleye.